Hey, mom. Guess what? I've got some awesome news. I'm going to be a starter in the upcoming big game. Can you believe it? I'm so pumped. Really? That's fantastic, sweetie. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, it's crazy. One of the starters messed up her foot and had to drop out. I can't believe the coach picked me to fill in. And get this, it's a national game. If I rocked out there, there's a chance I could become a permanent starter. How awesome would that be? I'm so happy for you. Thrilled for you, honey. It's about time all your hard work paid off. This is a golden opportunity to prove that you're a valuable asset to the team. Just go out there and give it your all. I know you'll do amazing. Sure thing, Mom. I got it covered. So, guess what? I'm going to be putting in some extra time for this one. Gonna train a bit longer than usual, you know? The starter starts training at 5 a.m. instead of 6 a.m. That's why I need your help to wake me up every morning so I don't end up being late. Oh, and could you make me something I can take with me for breakfast? That would be awesome. And hey, could you also clean my shoes every day? I gotta make sure they're spotless or else no one will take me seriously. I want the coach to see me and really appreciate my dedication to the team. Oh, Lola, that sounds like a lot of work. When you make me breakfast, make sure it's balanced and packed with all the right nutrients. I need to perform at my absolute best, you know, so don't mess it up. Hey, Lola, I want to be there for you. I really do. But I'm afraid I might be overwhelmed with everything going on. Your dad needs my attention. And you know how your grandmother doesn't want to go home. I have to help her every morning too, so I can't focus solely on you. I'm sorry. I can give you some money to buy breakfast instead. Would that work for you? If you're worried about nutrition, you could even try making it yourself the night before, you know? I'm sorry, but I have others to take care of as well. I understand how important this game is to you, but you'll have to handle some things on your own. You're just a stay-at-home mom, so this is your only job, right? I can't believe you're telling me to do everything myself. You can totally handle taking care of dad and grandma while also supporting me. It's your duty after all. Listen, Lola, sweetie, you're 16 now and it's about time you start grasping how things work in the real world. It's not all about you, darling. Huh? What's with the confusion? I'm not asking for the moon here. All I need for you to wake me up, whip up my breakfast, and shine my shoes. Is that really too much to ask? Let's be real. You're practically lounging around a home all day anyway. Doing those simple tasks from the comfort of your own home should be a piece of cake for you. You'll survive, trust me. Hey, honey. Sorry to interrupt your work. Do you have a quick minute? I'd like to talk about something. Sure. What's the matter, Summer? Is it my mother? Is she okay? Oh, no, no. Your mom is doing fine. Her Alzheimer's seems to be okay today. Okay, that's good. Then, what is it? Do you remember when we discussed upgrading some of our appliances? You know, like getting a Roomba, a nicer washing machine, and a dishwasher. Have you had a chance to think about it some more? I genuinely believe they would make a big difference for us. Oh, here we go again, Summer. I've already told you countless times that now is not the right moment for this nonsense. We don't need any of those things. The appliances we have are perfectly fine. Can you please drop this pointless discussion already? You can say that because you're not the one using them every day. It's tough for me, really. I have zero free time. I was talking with Lola this morning, and she's filling in for a starter in her next game. She needs to wake up even earlier, and she wants me to wake her up and make breakfast to take with her. But honestly, I just don't have the time. Lola is going to be a starter? That's my girl. I'm really happy for her, and I want to be there for her. 
but it would be a whole lot easier if we could upgrade some things around the house. Taking care of you, your mom, and all the household chores. I don't think we can keep going like this for much longer, Harry. Oh, please. Lola's game and your self-centeredness are completely unrelated matters. Don't even think for a second that you can use our daughter as a ploy to guilt me into splurging on unnecessary stuff we don't even need. You're saying you can't handle it anymore? All you have to do is manage the household chores and family matters. It sounds like you're just getting lazy. After all, you're just a housewife. I'm the one bringing in the money, so I'll be the one deciding how it's spent. You just need to be more efficient. We don't need to waste it on fancy appliances. But time is money, right? I really think it's worth spending a little bit of money to save time on the daily chores I do. I told you, you just need to be more efficient. Companies only want our money. They don't make things like they used to anyway. If we buy a known brand, that's not true. There are a lot of useful things these days that didn't exist 20 years ago. There are also warranties and payment options. Newer appliances will also save us money on power in the long run. Stop it. I've had my fill of this nonsense. This conversation is done. I'm not throwing away my hard-earned money just so you can indulge in some unnecessary fancy toys. Have you ever thought about how much a new washing machine, dishwasher, and Roomba would cost all together? If you won't consider getting anything to make my life easier, then how about we compromise and hire a maid once a week to help with the workload? I'm sick of your complaints. You just need to work faster. Even now, you are wasting time. You have always been a bit slow. Just pick up the pace. Simple. I'm constantly running around like crazy trying to tackle everything that needs to be done. From the moment I wake up, I don't even get a chance to sit down throughout the day. By the time I finally crawl into bed, I'm completely drained. You have no clue what it's like for me. I wake up at 5 in the morning and don't hit the hay until 2 at night. If you're going through all that trouble, why don't you just stop sleeping altogether? You should work 24-7 to support your precious family. Be like a worker aunt or something. <laughs> That's some sick joke, Harry. Oh, I saw something on TV a while back. Apparently, worker ants can work nonstop while taking little breaks here and there. So why can't you be like them? It's not that hard, right? So now I'm not even human? Just some worker ant slave to you? You just expect me to work myself to death for everyone around me. Don't be so dramatic. I'm only joking. Anyway, about Lola's next game, I heard it's hours and hours away, practically in Pennsylvania. Yes, it looks that way. I really haven't had time to check the exact location, though. I think she will need to stay a few nights there. All right, I've made up my mind. I'll go with her as her support. She could really use a parent who's there for her. Plus, we might as well extend the trip and turn it into a little vacation. After all, I deserve a break every now and then too. Well, that's a surprise coming from you. You haven't shown much interest in her endeavors before. But I suppose it'll be nice for Lola to have both her parents around. And hey, I could definitely use a vacation too. I'll go ahead and book the rooms then. Ha! Who said you're invited? I'll go with her all by myself. I'm pretty sure she wants a break from you, to be honest. So don't go trailing after her everywhere. It just makes you look utterly pathetic. You want to go by yourself? But she's my daughter too. Ha! <laughs> don't kid yourself. Did you really think you'd get to stay in some fancy hotel? Please, spare me. You'd only ruin the whole vibe. If you're so insistent on tagging along, then go ahead and figure out your own way there. Stay at the cheapest, dirtiest motel you can find. That's all you deserve anyway. I can't believe you. What happened to the man I married? What the hell happened to you? Scratch that. What the hell happened to us? You've completely let yourself go. You always look like you're half dead. 
Consider yourself lucky that they even keep you around. No one else would want you now, that's for damn sure. Lola and I will be flying business class, well you can just drive your sorry ass. Just make sure you don't crash into anything, for once in your life. I've given everything to this family. I'm your wife and Lola's mother? What sort of example does this set for our girl? You're treating me like this. Shut up! You're nothing more than a glorified maid that I share a roof with. I don't have to spend any money on you. Anyway, I gotta go. Just book our tickets and hotel before I get home, alright? What the hell, Mom? Did you secretly want me to fail right from the beginning? This was my golden opportunity to become a starter. And now, it's all gone to hell. I mess up big time. My life is ruined, thanks to you and your incompetence. Hey, come on now. I know you're upset, but you shouldn't blame others. Part of playing a sport is fighting with yourself to improve. Oh, just shut up already. I didn't do a damn thing wrong. This is all your fault and you know it. You can't even manage to wake yourself up every morning, huh? Is it really that difficult? Because of you, I miss practice. What are you talking about? I woke you up every morning. You're the one who would go back to sleep. You also wouldn't even prepare a healthy breakfast for me. I explicitly told you to take me meals that are nutritionally balanced. I can't perform at my best because of your incompetence. Come on, Lola. I did make you breakfast, remember? But you always had this habit of sleeping in and being late, so you never had time to eat it. That's why you ended up skipping breakfast all the time. And my shoes! I told you to clean them every day, didn't I? What kind of mother are you? I couldn't clean them because you kept leaving them at school. Lola, I did my best to support you. You just complained about everything and blamed others. No, it's all your fault. I'll never forgive you. My life is ruined. Because of you, I couldn't contribute to the team and we lost the freaking match. Better apologize to me. Even dad agrees with me, you know? He thinks you should have done more to support me, but nope, you're just useless. You embarrass me and if I've had enough, I'll tell dad he should get that divorce. You'll be sorry. A divorce? Lola, calm down, you're overreacting. Listen to what I've been telling you. I don't need a so-called mother who can even take care of your own daughter. Get out of my life already. Dad was spot on about you. He deserves to divorce your sorry self and find a younger woman who actually appreciates him and me. Your father said that? He also made it clear that he has zero use for a useless worker aunt who can even do her job properly. How pathetic is it to be reduced to nothing more than an aunt in your own husband's eyes? What a sad excuse for a life you must lead, huh? You know what? Thanks to everything I do with my sad little life, both you and your father have been able to live comfortably. I've sacrificed everything for this family, and yet neither of you seem to appreciate a single thing I do. If anyone should be getting angry here, it should be me. You're not my mom, and honestly, you're not even worth considering human. You're nothing more than a pesky insect. Dad and I have already got the divorce papers ready, and all you need to do is sign them. So where the hell are you? When will you be home? I'm not going home. I'm going to Canada. My plane leaves in 15 minutes. Canada? What are you talking about? Hurry up and come home. I'm serious. Up until a moment ago, I felt a tiny bit of regret leaving. But now, that's completely gone. I made the right decision. A decision I should have made a long time ago. Huh? You're leaving us? What the hell are you going to do in Canada? Get back here! So I can be your slave again? No, I'm done with that. I tried to raise you the best I could. Your father made it impossible and put crazy ideas in your head. I'm sorry I shouldn't raise you to be a decent person. It's too much for me to handle. I'm done taking abuse from you two. Now, you will realize just how much you needed me. I haven't said anything to your father yet. I trust you can tell him. 
I left the signed divorce papers in the kitchen. It's true, you have signed the papers. So, you really are going to Canada? You can do this, Dad won't let you. It's not up to him anymore. Let me know when he has submitted the papers, okay? Hold on, Mom, why are you doing this all of a sudden? You can't just leave me. Who will make my breakfast and clean my room and drive me places? I guess you'll have to learn to do these things by yourself. I'm going to get my life back. I have a friend in Canada. She's invited me to stay with her. You have friends in Canada? You hardly ever leave the house. How do you have friends in Canada? You might only see me as a stay-at-home mom. But let me tell you, before you were even born, I was doing pretty darn well for myself. I was making more money than your father and had traveled to more places than he could even dream of. I had friends scattered all over the world, but the moment I got pregnant with you, your father insisted that I quit my job. So from that point on, I dedicated myself entirely to this family. Looking back, I realized that it was around that time when your father transformed from gentle, caring man I once knew into the arrogant tyrant he is now. Maybe he was secretly jealous of the success I had in my career when we first met. But you know what? That's no excuse for the way he treated me all these years. It's been a tough 16 years of marriage, no doubt about it. Wait a minute, you had a job? And you made more than dad and traveled around the world? This is the first I'm hearing of this. You must be lying. I don't believe you. You're just a housewife. If that's what you want to believe, then go ahead. It doesn't matter to me anymore. I'm going to Canada to live my life the way I want. Oh, and I don't plan on coming back. My friend has said that as long as I cook meals for her, I can stay for free for as long as I like. This must be a bad dream. I think this has gone on long enough. I hope you can learn to be grateful for others' help someday, Lola. Good luck, and goodbye. Summer, tell me this is some kind of joke. You are coming home, right? This isn't funny. Summer? I'm dead serious. Did you think that I would just take all of your crap forever? Don't forget to sign the divorce papers. I want to know when it's done. Okay, okay. Maybe I went a little too far. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have abused you like that. I was just stressed, you know? I felt sort of relieved when you left your job to become my wife. I guess I was a little intimidated by how successful you were before that. I was just happy that now you had to rely on me financially. Is that supposed to be your apology? Even if that reason was remotely acceptable, which it isn't, you're just making excuses for yourself. You aren't sorry at all. Besides, it's far too late to have this conversation now. I gave you many chances, and you threw them all away. I'm going to Canada, and I'm not coming back. I'm already at the airport. You can't stop me. Okay, okay. You need some time. I get it. You can go and we will talk again in a few weeks when you have calmed down. Besides, it's not like you can stay there forever. What are you planning to do? Don't expect me to send you money after pulling a stunt like this. You'll be back after you realize you can't stay at home no money. Hmm. Maybe alright. Yeah, of course I am. Just take a few weeks and we will talk about this more when you get home. Give me a ring as soon as you land. I'll even pick you up from the airport. Lola will be there too. Oh wait, I've already interviewed with several companies and will have no trouble getting a work visa. And once I do, I'll be able to work and make my own money. You really are beyond help. I won't be calling you from any airport because I'm not coming back and I don't need your money. Oh yes, I know. I'll get the new washing machine you wanted and the dishwasher and the Roomba. I'll go and buy them right now. They'll be here when you get back. I'll get all the latest models. I don't care how much it costs. If that's not enough, I can buy you more. Just tell me what you want. 
It's not just about money. Money won't fix the damage you have done. The papers? I want them signed. That's all. No. No, this can't be happening. My plane's boarding now. I've got to go. Don't expect to see me again. I hope if you find another woman, you will treat her right next time. Bye. Mom, why have you been ignoring my messages? Things are falling apart here. When will you be home? What? Are you still hanging on to that? I told you multiple times already. I'm not coming back. You are on your own. You won't get any sympathy from me. No, Mom, please. I'm sorry. I was so selfish and took you for granted. I realize how important you are to me now. So please, come back or I'm going to be kicked off the team. People are already telling me to quit. I don't want to lose my place. Lose your place? Sounds like you haven't been putting in the work. Of course the team won't want you if you can't do your part. Sounds like you need to get your act together quick. This is all your fault. I wouldn't be in this mess if you didn't just leave all of a sudden. I've been excluded from the team ever since the day of our big game. No one wants to practice with me anymore. Is that so? Ever since I messed up my chance to shine, it feels like everyone has been giving me the cold shoulder. The girl who got injured and had to sit out is back now, stealing my spotlight. I spent most of my time warming the bench and doing boring tasks for the coach. But even with that, I managed to mess things up and make mistakes. I can just sense it. I'm on the verge of being completely kicked off the team. Maybe you should have tried harder. You can't expect to be loved by everyone when you don't practice. Don't show up on time and don't take care of your uniform. And how can you fail at helping the coach? I was supposed to wash all the uniforms, but I accidentally used bleach instead of laundry detergent and the collars got all washed out. Then, when I put them in the dryer, they shrank. I tried to make some food to say sorry and two of the other girls got food poisoning and had to go to the hospital. Wow, that's quite a feat. And lastly, when I was cleaning the gym, I smashed one of the window. Why is this all so difficult? Please, Mom, you've got to teach me how to do this stuff. Otherwise, my life will be over. I'll be kicked off the team and I'll lose my friends. I'll be a laughing stock. For crying out loud, I didn't think you were this incapable of taking care of yourself. This stuff is all your job. I never thought I would need to do these things. Yes, I did take care of all the cooking and the cleaning and any other tasks that needed to be done for you. But you could have easily helped me and learned. I asked you constantly to help out around the house, and you refused every time. And now, you're paying the price for not being able to do anything yourself. That's all in the past now. I can't change that. You have to help me now. I need you. I don't want to lose my place at school. Please, you've got to help me get through this. You're my mom. So now you want my advice, huh? You want my advice? Yes, please tell me what I should do. Oh, figure it out yourself. Do you have any idea how many years I endured abuse and neglect from you and your father? And now, just because it's convenient for you, you come begging for my help? Well, Lola... It's about time you learned how the real world works. You can't always expect people to do everything for you and make your life easier. Your father has given up and accepted the divorce. And it's time you accept that I'm not coming back either. There's no one left to wait on you hand and foot anymore. You're on your own now. I don't want to hear from you anymore. So you're running away just like that? From your only daughter? How can you do such a thing? You're evil! You're right. I don't feel anything for you anymore. You and your father drove me to this. I don't feel any regret for leaving you. You're my daughter, but I don't want anything to do with you anymore. How could you? You're sick! Sick? Maybe. If I am, it's who you made me like this. 
One day, you will understand just why I left and who's to blame. Even then, I never want to see you again. Goodbye. After spending three months in Canada at my friend's house, I made the decision to move back to America as far away as possible from my old life. I reached out to my former work colleagues and, thanks to their help, I landed a job as a set designer at a reputable company. The hours can be long, but it's worth it because my work is recognized and appreciated. Staying busy also helps me put my past behind me. Even though I sometimes have to work long days, it's a significant improvement compared to the never-ending hours I used to spend as a slave to those two. Life is finally starting to feel meaningful again, and having the freedom to spend my money as I please has been incredibly liberating. As for my ex Harry, he ended up collapsing from exhaustion and is currently in the hospital. I suppose the stress of juggling work, housework, and caring for his elderly mother became too much for him. Maybe now he'll have a glimpse of what I went through and understand the constant exhaustion of getting only four hours of sleep each night. As for my daughter Lola, she faced bullying due to her incompetence and was swiftly removed from her team. Every time she tried to contribute, she only caused more trouble and damage for everyone involved. Harry sent me a message pleading, We can't do anything without you. Every day feels like a nightmare. Please come back to me. Instead of wasting my time replying, I asked a bodybuilder friend of mine to take a picture with me shirtless and made it my profile picture. After that, he never attempted to contact me again.